Hello everybody, this is Stringing Me Up to kick off round 3 for Group F. Let's get round 3 for Group F fired up, shall we? And we have this quartet of matches to look forward to. So, up first we will have Dino Hug winless so far, going up against Anvil. Then we'll have Team Allo 2-0, going up against Heady. Then we'll see Dino Hunter finally getting a win in a 3v3 matchup, going up against Martin Soto. And as for our main event... It is Benjamina going up against the Brute, that is Blood Moon. And that's going to be a very fiery main event. <laughs> right, but enough about that main event. we got three matches to go through first, so let's get to it. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Dino Hug, we have got Mini Kick. Look, it's been a tough start for Dino Hug so far. Losses to Blood Moon and Dino Hunter. No points to show for their efforts either. Looking to get, looking to bounce back here, but I feel this is going to be another tough matchup for them because in the blue corner for Anvil, we've got the Decanter Urus. Now Anvil will have the tight advantage initially he, here, and their third Dino will have tight advantage over Dino Hug's third Dino. And to make matters worse for Dino Hug, Anvil will get terrain advantage in this ma match courtesy of their third Dino, which is a Water Dinosaur. So yeah, it's, uh, they're, get, they're probably going to need a few favours from the uh, random number generator. And well, that's a decent start, a Thunder Bazooka, but yeah, type advantage, nullifying the damage there. Okay, another hit on the board. But Oh, oh wow, look at that. Is this a steady start from Dino Hug so far? The Decanterurus is having none of that this time. It's a diving press. And oh my god, look at the look at the difference. One hit, two hits. Although this Decanterurus is counter type, so it does get stronger after a loss. It's a Vengeful Sword. Okay, another hit from Dino Hug. Chipping away at Decanterurus' HP but not doing much damage. And yeah, look, okay, this diving press is lethal. It's counter type. It's going to do more damage, and that is going to be Curtin for mini kick. Right, now here's the Dino I think is instrumental to Dino Hug getting a win here. Coming in next, we've got a Patasaurus. And if it can get going, if it can get firing, I do think Dino Hug can win this match. But it really does depend on what this Apatosaurus does. If it dies too quickly, then yeah, I do think Anvil will win. Especially with the terrain advantage as well. That they'll have with uh, Super Minus. Okay, there's a hit. Defense boost, elemental power activating as well. That should finish off the Decanterurus. And we are level packing. Okie dokie, coming in next for Anvil, we've got Edmontosaurus. It's revival type, so if it does die in a tie, it gets to come back once. Pretty cool gimmick for revival types. Now, there are quite a lot of dinosaurs that have the revival type, but never got card printed. And Edmontosaurus is one of them. Ooh, a Patasaurus getting the next hit. That's going to max up the defense boost and elemental power. That's exactly what Dino Hug needs. Well, Dino Hug has been getting the majority of the hits in this match. Oh, wow, that was a big hit. But Anvil has, got, has gotten bigger hits. Okay, there's a hit. It's a neat, it's a rock hit. But yeah, look at that with the resilience this Apatosaurus has. Not much damage was dealt. But a nature's blessing gonna come in here. Heal up the Cap Edmontosaurus a little bit. Good strike back there from Anvil. But the secret move has been triggered. Oh, Dino Hug going for it. Oh, didn't get it that time. Instead, he's gonna get a taste of death grind. 
And this will do a lot more damage than that rock hit did. Boosh! Oh yeah, definitely. And with a Tapijara dive. Oh, another Nature's Blessing. That will put Anvil back in the lead. That's not what Dino Huggers wanted. Okay, that's a tie. Oh, the Apatosaurus is going down. That Death Grind's going to finish the job. And now I feel Dino Hug is in big trouble. Even though the Edmontosaurus is on relatively low health. Oh, no, he doesn't. No. Oh, I'm stupid. Sorry. <laughs> Anvil doesn't have terrain advantage in this match. I thought he had Sukaminus in his team for some reason. He doesn't. He has Albertosaurus in his team. Which will have... To, well, it would have type advantage over this Aloatrox, but the Aloatrox doesn't have any win moves. Okay. Forget everything I just said regarding terrain advantage. Anvil does not get terrain advantage in this match. And in fact, nobody does. Because no one has any water types. <laughs> Ugh. But Dino Hub does need to kill this Edmontosaurus quick. Before it gets another death grind. But it's got another one. Boosh. That's not good for Dino Hug. But very good if you're Anvil. That actually guarantees the losing bonus point. But can they get more? Ooh, maybe not. Aloatrox gets the next hit. Oh, <laughs> didn't even kill it. <laughs> Well, it actually needs to hit hit now because they said Montosaurus is revival type. Oh, another hit. The Tappy Jara dive to come. Dino Hug really in trouble now. Well, I'd be amazed if they came back from this. Okay. There's the hit they needed. Attack boost maxed up. The banana surprise coming in here. Well, unless they get... Two consecutive crits. It's probably gonna be game over for Dino Hug here. But hey, we've seen stranger things happen. So let's not count the fella out yet. Right, coming in third for Anvil, we got Albertosaurus. Now, normally this Albertosaurus would have type advantage over Atrox, but Atrox doesn't have any win moves, so. No type advantage for the uh, Albertosaurus. Oh, there's a tide. I'm going to do it. Oh, <laughs> only just. Oh, uh, oh. This could be interesting. Well, the Tail Smash is probably going to drop Albertosaurus's HP below half. And look at that. And all of a sudden. Anvil is beaten and stunned, and Dino Hug gets their first win of the tournament in dramatic style. What a win for Dino Hug. And Anvil, well, they'll be absolutely kicking themselves because they had that match in the bag. But Dino Hug put a big hole in it. Right, on to match number two. Right, in the red corner, representing Team Allo, we have got, well, Allosaurus Fragilus. Team Allo enjoying a very good tournament so far, getting victories over Dino Hunter in round one, and against Martin Soto in round two? I think there was Martin Soto. Can't remember now. Right, in the blue corner for Heady, we got the Stone Cold Triceratops. Now, this is a decent field if you're Heady, because the T-Rex will get terrain advantage in this match. Right, the uh, Allosaurus is Blitz-type, so it will go for its uh, two crits. We'll see if it gets any of them off. Bring it on. Ooh, that's a tie. Right, crit number two. Oh, gets that crit though. Boosh. But unfortunately, since the button wasn't pressed on 10, you won't get the blitz buff. But hey, you get the crit anyway. Take it. Take what you can. 
And worse, are still a massive crit from the Allosaurus. Good start from Team Allo. Oh, he's going to go for another crit. Oh, not getting it that time, though. It's another tie. Eddie's struggling to get going so far. Maybe they're still free reeling after that batter in the yard by Blood Moon. No, that Triceratops goes down. Right, coming in next for Heady, we got a Spinosaurus. A popular dinosaur in this tournament by a lot... Featured by um, a lot of teams, and I think it features in every group except for Group D. Well, I think you've got Spiny in Group D, but that doesn't really count. <laughs> the OG Spinosaurus. Right, that was two... Oh, never hit. This is a solid start from Team Allo. Heady really struggling to get going. Oh, there's another tie, but ties aren't going to cut it. They need hits. And they need them quick. Another hit from Team Allo. Tappy Jara Dive coming in here. This has been really one sided so far. Come on, Heady, get a hit on the board. Nope, Spinosaur is going down. Well, Heady's going to get the next hit anyway because of the terrain advantage. But it is a 2-0 lead for Team Allo. And Heady is really struggling in this match. They haven't even fired a shot. Right, coming in third, Heady, we got Tyrannosaurus. Well, it'll get the next hit because of the terrain advantage. And Heady's going to need that hit. It's Team Allo well on top. Maybe that Blood Moon loss has affected Heady. Boosh! Right, let's see what this T-Rex can do. It's got the Death Fire, mind. There's, a, there's another tie. I will say that. Another hit from Allosaurus. Come on, Heady, get a hit on the board. Okay. Okay, finally the uh, Fragilus goes down. Amazing, it has gone down. Heady has only got one hit in this entire match. Right, coming in next for Team Allo, we've got Allosaurus Atrox. Now, this does have Hurricane Beat, so if that can get triggered, Heady will have type advantage here, which could be key for him to get back in this match. But to get back in this match, he needs to get hits. Because he just cannot get a hit. His random number generator is being mean today. Well, mean to Heady anyway. Oh, finally he gets a proper hit. And it's going to be a big one. A big old magma blaster. Now, that's going to trigger the hurricane beat as well, mind. Ooh, oh, hello. That's a crit. And he killed it! Well, out of nowhere, Heady is right back in this match. Right, coming in third for Team Allo, we got Alpha Allosaurus this time. No win moves. Well, we haven't really seen much of this guy, to be honest, because Team Allo have been sweeping with the first two Allos. He's going to have to pull his weight here because it's T-Rex, well... Look at this, it's crazy. Eddie's Heady has only got, well, minus a terrain hit. Two hits this entire match. And Team Allo are down to their third dino. Of course, a magma blaster and a big crit from the T-Rex. As opposed to chip damage like this from uh, Team Allo. Attack boost activated in there. Not going to matter now. Oh no, this T-Rex doesn't have Death Fire, has Flare Sword. Okay, there's another hit from the T-Rex. Can Heady at least get the losing bonus point? Yeah. Oh, hello, what have we got here? It's Volcano Burst. Ooh, well, I don't know if that's below half. Uh, please be a tie or something. Oh, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to double check that. That might be bang on halfway. 
Hang on, I'm going to pause it. It's, it's freaking Team Allo's win, but I need to double check that real quick to make sure that Hedy gets the uh, losing bonus point. Okay, yeah, it is just below half, so Hedy will get a losing bonus point out of this match. Which, you know, given how dominant Team Allo was in this match, I think, you know, you take that. But it is Team Allo's victory. And let's be honest, it was more comfortable than um, the match suggested. Right, on to match number three. Okie dokie. In the red corner, representing Dino Hunter, we have got Spiny. Well, Dino Hunter finally got a win in a 3v3 matchup in round two against Dino Hug. Looking to make it two and one. Uh, well, it's kind of an important match for Dino Hunter here. If they can get a win, it'll set them up nicely to challenge the top spot in this group. But in the blue corner for Martin Soto, we've got a Paki Rhinosaurus. Martin Soto winless, pointless in this tournament so far. They have had a pretty torrid start. <laughs> Let's just say that. Mm -hmm. But they do have type advantage here. And I do think this, with this field, I think this is a good match for Martin Soto here. Because this Sorofagnax that comes in third will get terrain advantage. So I think... This is a good matchup and a good chance for Martin Soto here to get their first win of the tournament. And that is a good start. A lightning strike coming right off the bat. A solid start there from Martin Soto. Oh, that's a tie. But ties are what Spiny wants because his ocean panic time. Tizer's probably Dino Hunter's best friend here. Yeah? Ooh, he doesn't get the shockwave though. Hmm, could be costly. Okay, gets a crit though. Nice crit from Dino Hunter, but again, look at that tight disadvantage. Limiting the damage. And well, you compare to this hit, which is actually not, not a, a lightning hit, so it won't do too much damage. But actually, saying that, even that, way more damage than what Spiny did. Ooh, but Spiny does get the next hit. It is a softening beam. This has been a very even start so far. Analyzing the uh, Paki Rhinosaurus's makeup and lowering its defense in a tie by 200. I mean, I can't read Japanese, but that's what I'm assuming it says. And, and Dino Hunter gonna take the lead. Despite the tight disadvantage, Martin Soto was unable to take advantage of it to get an early lead. And it is Dino Hunter striking first. Right, coming in next for Martin Soto, we got Saltosaurus. Well, <laughs> we all know how powerful Saltosaurus' crit is. And if Martin Soto can get off a big crit in this match, that can definitely swing this match his way. Well, we'll see what happens here, because Spiny's on really low health, so a tie will probably finish the job. And it does. Okie dokie, coming in next for Dino Hunter, we got Sign Raptor. An interesting choice for Dino Hunter. I think, well, other than Super Sign Raptor, which I'm pretty sure we've seen in previous tournaments, this is the first time I think anyone has actually used this dinosaur. Well, it worked for Dino Hunter in round two. Will it work for him again here? Um, it's heroic type, so it's scissors move will do more damage, which is ninja attack. Ooh, but Dino Hunter will do more than that. He'll get a crit. It's a biting wind. Massive hit from Dino Hunter. That was a decent hit. Even though Sinraptor is one of the more balanced wind dinosaurs in terms of its attack stats. 
Oh, that's a tie. Well, remember when I said a big crit would help Martin so? Oh, well, he needs one. Okay, it's not a crit, but it is a hit. It's a neck crusher. Oh, that's another tie. Salt the, one tie will take out the Saltosaurus. Oh, hang on. Better pause that to be safe. Come on, run. Okay, that's a one. Oh, that's another tie. And I think that's going to be curtains for Saltosaurus. And it is. So Dino Hunter extending his lead. But coming in third for Martin Soto, we have got the Sorrow Faganax with terrain advantage. So it's going to get the next hit here, and it's going to be a paper hit. Well, I'm sure Martin Soto would love it to be a burning dash, but uh, unfortunately it won't be. But he will enjoy type advantage over the sign raptor. Well, then again, Soro Fagnax hits so hard, I don't think it matters if this is a burning dash or not. Oh, that's a tie, and that tie will be curtains for Sign Raptor. So yeah, very even contest so far. Neither of our combatants giving much away. But Dino Hunter does have the slight lead, and coming in third for Dino Hunter, we've got Pachycephalosaurus. Well, we've hardly seen this thing. In round one, it died instantly, and in round two, it wasn't needed. But it's going to be needed here. Dino Hunter wants this win. Oh, that's a big shot from the Faganax. And remember, this Faganax does have the death fire, but look at the damage. Massive hit from Martin Soto. But Dino Hunter striking back, getting the recovery. Whee! Badoosh! Good strike back from Dino Hunter. The defense boost coming in as well. Oh, <laughs> that healed it above half. So <laughs> that will deny Martin Soto the losing bonus point should he lose. That's a tie. This Pachycephalosaurus is tight, tight. So ties do favor Dino Hunter. That's another tie. Okay, now Pachycephalosaurus is definitely below half. Another tie! Oh, it is getting tense. Another tie! And that'll do it! It's Dino Hunter's victory! They wear the Falconax down with about seven consecutive ties and get the win. And Martin Soto's search for their first win goes on. But they will get the losing bonus point because... Pachycephalosaurus' HP was below half. Right. Now the fun begins. Because we're on to the main event. This will either... And this could be a very quick match. Oh my god. <laughs> right. Um, in the red corner for Benjamin R. We got Super Carnotaurus. Awake mode on 2. And well. If Benjamin R. wasn't an underdog already in this matchup. He's more so now. Because Blood Moon's going to have terrain advantage. Although, Benjamin will get terrain advantage as well with his cup. Right, in the blue corner for Blood Moon, we've got the T-Rex. Blood Moon's been in imperious form so far in this tournament. Two bonus point victories. And, well, they'll get the first shot in this match as well with his T-Rex. Going up against two win types first as well. Yeah, this is the one matchup where you do feel Blood Moon is going to be the favourite here. But, well... I've probably given Blood Moon the kiss of death. But Benjamin does have the Awaken mode. Again. I do feel, however, that they, they're going to need a lot to go this their way in this match. To get anything. It's a tie. That's going to trigger the Burning Dash. Oh, that's another hit from Blood Moon. Starting off strong. The firebomb coming in. And with, well, it's awakening time for the car, no? Got nothing to lose yet. They get a big hit. You know, just even with the turret type disadvantage. Oh, no. 
<laughs> well, there's one down. Uh, there goes Carnotaurus. Well, um, one dino down for Blood Moon and um, with relative ease. Right, coming in next for Benjamina, we got Super Ceratosaurus. Will it have any better luck than the uh, Tyrannosaurus, than the uh, Carnotaurus did? Look, if Benjamin is going to win this match from you, he's going to need the awakened hit with the Ceratosaurus. Like, this could, this is one of those matches where I do feel Blood Moon could get less hits in this match, but could still win because of how hard he hits. There's a tie. Oh, oh, here comes another fire cannon. Oh, classic Blood Moon sweeping his opponents aside with T-Rex. Alright, that's once. Another tie. Oh, another tie. Oh, that's a crit from Ceratosaurus. That could make things interesting. Attack boost coming in. A jet shuriken. Oh no, it's a Cyclone. That's actually even better. Well, can Benjamin not get the hit here? They got the Cyclone as well. Oh, oh my. <laughs> oh dear. It's a firebomb. Right, the saving grace is that the Kark will have terrain advantage. Oh, so I sort of survived. But yeah, like I said. When the cart comes in, it'll have terrain advantage. It'll still get it because the T-Rex used his terrain advantage earlier. Oh, hang on a minute. Ceratosaurus getting another crit. Is that going to be curtains for T-Rex? Yes, it is. But, well, done a lot of damage. Right, coming in next for Blood Moon, we've got Uteraptor. Well, this Uteraptor has been in imperious form for Blood Moon and is basically the main reason why they've got two bonus point victories. But it will have tight disadvantage against the Kark and it will have to get hit by the terrain advantage that the Kark has. Oh well, it is a hit. There goes Ceratosaurus, but it did take down the T-Rex, which I think is good for Mark for um, Benjamin because this Kark will get a free shot at the Uteraptor. Which will be not the fire move. It'll be a light recovery hit. <laughs> well, a hit's a hit, eh? We'll see if it gets Volcano Burst. But yeah, Benjamin are really struggling to impose themselves in this match, but that T-Rex did a lot of damage. Okay, no Volcano Burst. Okay, another hit from the Kark, though. Blood Moon not having it all his own way in this match. Oops. Sorry about that. Oh, but there's the nut hit from the Uteraptor. But again, the type disadvantage is going to limit that damage. So I don't see this being a bonus point victory for Blood Moon, if i got to be honest. Well, it won't be. Because that Magma Blaster is going to be lethal for the Uteraptor. And for the first time in this tournament, Blood Moon is down to their last dinosaur. And the Kark is fully healed, so after everything's said and done, we are level packing. Coming in third for Blood Moon, we've got Deinonychus. All secret moves, nothing to say. And we are seeing it for the first time this tournament. Well, Blood Moon's Deinonychus anyway. Well, can Benjamina get this win? And stop Blood Moon going 3-0. Well, he's got the lead. But okay, yeah, the secret move did get triggered there, so... That limits the damage that the cart does. 
Another hit on the board. And Blood Moon really struggling here. A volcano burst. This has been a really good showing from Benjamina. Okay, there's a hit from the Deinonychus, but it's not a secret move. Oh, he's pulled it off! Benjamin has pulled off the upset. I mean, I call it an upset because of those two win types. And Blood Moon was practically 2 0 up, but the carcass brought it back. And Benjamin gets the victory. A result that I did not see coming. And Blood Moon, well, that will be that will be a stinger. A defeat in a match I expected him to win. I, I, I jinxed him. All right, I cursed him at the start of the turn, at the start of the match. Okay, that's probably why he lost. <laughs> but like I said, a lot of things had to go Benjamin's way if they were going to get this win, and you know it did. Right, we'll have a look at the table for Group F, and we'll end the session. Well, Group F shaking up a bit. There we got Team, we got Team Allo three out of three. On 11 points, and we have Blood Moon on still on 8 points. A really surprising loss. I thought they were going to win against uh, Benjamina. Then we have Dino Hunter climbing up to 3rd on 7 points. Benjamina on 6 points. Then we have Heady and Anvil on 4 points. Dino Hug finally getting off the mark on 3 points. That would be a massive win for them. And poor old Martin Soto rooted at the bottom with 1 point. And yeah, that is Group F, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoyed, and until next time. Ta-ta.